Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Sphinx Gamer. I'm excited for a new video series starting today and we're beginning off with beer. I think I'm going to be doing, I don't know what to call this, uh, a, a beer review or, or, or a, a, a pouring session. But uh, I figured, you know, I'm a fan of beer. Who in, doesn't enjoy playing video games while drinking beer? And so that's how this whole series began. So I'm excited. Our first beer is the Santan Brewing Company's Sunspot Gold Golden Ale. I actually got this in a variety pack at the store. You can find Santan at a variety of bars as well as uh, restaurants and other places within the southwestern United States as well as Southern California. So let's go ahead and pour this one out. Don't know which one I want to choose though. I have this thing here. About 19 and a quarter ounces. And then we also have this huge thing, this super beer mug, looks like the tag fell off. This thing is actually about 25 ounces, if I do uh, remember correctly. So let's do it. Yeah, baby, that's the sound of a nice carbonated snap which is uh, about the, the, the best thing that you can get from this beer. It's, it's, it's typical for a summer ale. Most of them are very light in terms of taste and, and whatnot, especially in appearance. Um, and this is really, is really no exception. But it's, don't get me wrong, though, that doesn't mean that it's not a good beer. Sunspot Gold Golden Ale fits into exactly what it's trying to be. Great with pizza. For people that are looking for a light beer, I think you'll be satisfied with this. You're not going to get a mouthful out of this beer. So if you're coming in expecting something along the lines of a Blue Moon and their summer variants, um, you're going you're gonna to be left very disappointed, in, in my opinion. However, I, I enjoyed it. It's got that nice white top as you pour it into a glass. And it's, it's appealing. I like it. It's very light on the stomach. It comes in at just about 5% alcohol. And look at it, it's not too bad at all. It's made up of Columbus hops as well as two row barley and wheat and American ale as its yeast. And we'll just top it off right there. Perfect. The aroma and taste is a little bit of butter and honey. And it has a little bit of a faint little citrus in there as well. But again, it's not going to be super powerful. It's very light. And I, I can't complain at all with it. Uh, cheers! Now, most beer reviews are going to go over what about the aroma and the appearance and the taste and everything like that, but I'm going to talk about what interests me the most. You know, when I moved here from Pennsylvania, home of the shittiest loggers, I wanted to choose a place that had a giant bird as its mascot, which is Phoenix, a fire-breathing bird, and uh, Santan has a logo of a bird in it. I got this beer as part of a 12-pack, and they've got that Aztecian uh, deco-style pyramid on the front there, and uh, reading the marketing off the back of the can, a golden ale fit for any day, anywhere, kick back and drink the perfect balance of two-row American barley and Northwestern hops. Oh my god, that's fantastic, isn't it? And, of course, don't forget to recycle. But, uh, I don't, I don't know of anyone who really does that. Now, I discovered Santan earlier this year when I was at a, a bar, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It, it, I've been here for three years here in Arizona, and just didn't discover Santan until two years in. I guess that's a crime. But I'm a fan. Cheers again, my friends. And, uh, am I making you thirsty yet? Ah. So yeah, I might very well review the other 
hands in the 12 pack. It depends how I how I feel, of course. But you know, if you're chilling back, getting your ass handed to you and bloodborne, you can pour yourself out a light tasting beer. It's been Sphinx Gamer approved.